the reading is extremely interesting. I greatly enjoyed Jose's uh, uh, sophisticated and complex piece. I would quibble with, um, in a very minor way, the, there's a, he says at one point that American Protestantism has never had much tension with capitalism. And I, I think that broadly true. Um, but there was a period in the 30s uh, when the social gospel of Jesus Christ, which uh, my father was a Protestant minister and he was trained at Yale in that gospel. And when I was a nine-year-old, the newspaper in our small town in the Midwest one morning had a headline, Reverend Ray found to be communist. <laughs> so I've seen some tension. Um, um, the... Uh, Taylor piece, uh, I, th it's, I think it's a kind of lay down hand that there are multiple mo modernities. There, of course there are. Um, his uh, dichotomy between cultural and acultural theories uh, disappoints me because and it's just about impossible to have an acultural understanding that one takes seriously. It's a bit of a straw man. And he's a bigger intellect than needs straw persons. Um, and following Miroslav, following Taylor, following Casanova, um, let's think of a culture as, um, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna distort this slightly just to make it a little clearer for what I wanna say, uh, as, a, uh, an understanding of uh, the self and society, of uh, thriving and rectitude, right and wrong. Um, a theory of agency, a theory of how one's uh, wishes and needs are realized or aren't realized. Um, uh, and a theory of cause and effect. The, wh why do things happen as they do, and does it have anything to do with our behavior? Uh, and finally, a theory of death. What is death? What, what's that all about? Uh, and I, we could obviously extend this list at length. But um, secularism is a very abstract category, and in the middle of secularism, is a culture that could, in some respects, be mistaken for a religion. Uh, the Yale Law School is one of its seminaries. <laughs> uh, the School of Management <laughs> is another of its, right, okay. that's it. School of Management is also a seminary. The School of Medicine is also a seminary. Um, and here's an act of faith. This is the pill for my arthritic knees. And I believe that that pill will extend my agency by allowing me to walk more comfortably. And that's, it, it is an utter conviction of mine based on my belief in experimental science that that pill is about as good as any pill I can take short of opiates. And I might prefer opiates because I think they would work better, but the doctor doesn't agree. Um, what is this faith? Uh, it is partly a theory about property rights. And this book by Hernando de Soto is uh, an extremely elegant laying out of, of that idea. Uh, second, it is a theory about the division of labor. If you think about Adam Smith and the pin factory and so on, but this is a much more elaborate theory with uh, deeply specialized expertise laid out across a very wide spectrum uh, from science and engineering to the study of religion and culture uh, to what we're doing, uh, which I guess is that, uh, this afternoon. Um, <clears throat> it, is a, it, it includes a... Um, 
commitment to utilitarianism. And in John Paul's um, piece, the little piece we read, there's a passage where he says, not all ethics does, are worthy of the name. And then he says what he means is utilitarianism. And the, of course, the trouble with utilitarianism is what well, has many troubles, but it does uh, squash the interests of minorities where the greatest good of the greatest number uh, goes in another direction. And it conflates dignity with a mere preference. And uh, I think he's kind of right about that, but utilitarianism, for, for better or worse, quite possibly worse, is in the middle of this theology or this culture I'm talking about. And the notion of economic efficiency is part of it. Uh, whereas I'm pretty confident about the pill that I just swallowed, I'm less confident about efficiency as the ultimate criterion for how we run the world. Um, and the, for me personally, the, 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 there, there is also, and I think, it, I think this is fairly true of most people who subscribe to this church, this faith, uh, or this non-faith, if you will. I, 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 it's not important to me to, to lay claim to that word. Um, there is a transposition of religious belief. Um, and I, I think Jose's paper kind of hints this idea. Uh, my wife is, I'm not an atheist, my wife is an atheist. And uh, she comes from a long line, five generations of Presbyterian ministers in her lineal family. And she is as good a Presbyterian as you'll find anywhere on every question except God. <laughs> right? She, I mean, she has absorbed all of it in, with great rigor and in great detail and, uh, and with great personal discipline. She, she believes all the right and wrong stories. And, and yet, she is a priestess of what I'm talking about. She runs a big institutional investment fund for the Carnegie Corporation. And she has absorbed all of this, and, I've, and I have absorbed a good bit of it. So the question of where are the collisions with faiths properly understood? And uh, there are two places, and uh, three places, where the, let's just call what I'm talking about, uh, uh, market secularism, if you will. I don't, I don't know quite what the right name is. Um, one is in theories of agency. How do I get my knees to quit hurting? Uh, I am, uh, I know people who pray for their, for their own health and the health of their family and friends. And I respect that, but I think pills are likely to work better. And, uh, and that's, that's a point of, uh, there's ultimately a real contradiction there. It's not, you can't elide that, I don't think. Um, second, the myth, of, uh, the myth or theory of our origins. The book of Genesis uh, against natural history. And the, the secular regime has a powerful, a not altogether comforting story, one that most of us, I came to subscribe to it thoroughly by about age 10, reading children's versions of Darwin. Um, and that's a, a, another uh, point of friction. Um, last, in um, theories of thriving, or accounts of thriving and rectitude, the um, market secularism has in it a bunch of, a, a good many rules. Uh, for example, about telling the truth, uh, uh, telling, telling the truth and uh, not uh, committing fraud, 
of keeping promises, honoring contracts. Uh, but there are a bunch of other rules it doesn't really have, right? The notion of uh, monogamous marriage and all that, for example. Uh, there's no particular commitment one way or another in, in that doctrine. So it's incomplete in that way. And, um, and it may well be that the hedonism of our popular culture um, is uh, consequent to that. Uh, I'll stop there.